The Joffice, this is gonna be a weird season. Hey everybody, welcome to season five of The Joffice. It's a new year, 2019, lots of stuff's happened, and we're doing a new format for The Joffice where I'm going to tell you a lot of stuff. Um, so UFS Corner is going to be here, all of our new releases for our board games, UTS for Street Fighter and the upcoming properties for that. But to kick things off, I want to explain why the Joffus is a little later than usual. So at the start of the year, I was personally on a bunch of trips. I was going over to Southern Hobby Supply and talking to distributors and I uh, had some other meetings with some high profile contacts for licensing and other things. And then as soon as I got back about three weeks ago, ready to do the Joffus, I got kidney stones and then I was in the hospital for five days and yeah, it was, uh, it was a rough time. I actually still haven't passed those kidney stones, fun fact. So uh, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be fun. It's like Russian roulette every time you pee. So anyway, welcome to season five of The Joffice. I have a lot to tell you about and we're gonna do this in segments because uh, there's just a lot to go over. All right, so our first segment this week for episode one of season five is going to go over all of our board games coming out. So finally, we have release dates on pretty much everything for the rest of the year. Uh, the first one is Buffy is back in stock, our seventh print run uh, for Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. If you haven't played it, check it out. It is back in stock. It's going out to distribution right now, so it should be back in stores here in a couple weeks. Uh, on top of that, we have the Friends and Frenemies expansion. So this game is awesome. You play it alongside Buffy the Vampire Slayer, obviously, and it makes your game way harder. We actually played it during board game night a couple days ago um, with the final version, not, not a playtest version that we usually do, and it's insane. We actually lost both lose conditions at the same time. So uh, if you want a, a harder step up to your game, make it a little bit more challenging, this is the way to go. This game is awesome. I really love it. I've already loved the Buffy game. So check that out. That comes out June of this year. So Buffy Expansion will be in stores June. So be sure to check that one out. Up next, our Gen Con release of the year is the Bebop board game. So you can get your, uh, your first copies at Gen Con or a couple other conventions throughout the year. And then it will be in stores as of August 2019. So check that out. Awesome cooperative game. If you like Bebop, that's the way to go. Up next, our Street Fighter Exceed boxes are in. So if you're uh, familiar with the Exceed system from Level 99 Games, we have a Street Fighter packs. And the cool thing about these is our miniatures from the UTS game are all the same character lineup, so you can actually use those as your character marker in the game while you play. So it's super cool. So Chun-Li, check it out. I, this one's open, so I put the box on backwards, but whatever. There you go. And these are going to be releasing April, May, and June, I believe. No, nope, May, June, and July. So they'll, they'll be releasing May, June, and July of this year. Uh, so we're starting with the Ryu one, then it'll be the Bison one, and then finally the Chun-Li box. And then after that, uh, we've been working with Brad from Level 99 to release even more. So we'll have even more characters to the roster for Exceed. So uh, keep an eye out for those. Uh, finally, um, I'm checking over here because all of my dates are on this board. We have... Yes, Evil Dead 2. So our Evil Dead 2 Kickstarter should be coming up here in a few weeks, uh, actually probably closer to a month. Um, we're looking to launch it in March. We'll see through approvals and everything if that's uh, doable, but keep an eye out for that. This is a very different Kickstarter campaign. So Evil Dead 2, if you haven't been following it, was a Kickstarter game that was uh, launched successfully and was never fulfilled by another company. So we've talked to the licensing group, and we're going to be bringing the game back, fulfilling the games if we hit our, um, our goal. If we hit our funding goal, the games will be fulfilled to all of the previous backers for free to them, and the new backers will get a game as well. So the game is only funded if everyone that previously backed the game gets their game, and you'll get your game too. So check that out. Uh, we're hoping that we can save it. We've improved the game mechanics. Uh, we've done a lot of new artwork and everything else for it. So we'll have pictures and everything for that up soon. Uh, stay tuned. We're really excited to save and bring back from the dead Evil Dead 2. Uh, up next, UTS. If you've been following that, we're going to have a huge update this week. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Uh, there's a few delays from licensing and things like that, but the game is looking awesome. So uh, Street Fighter UTS miniatures game. 
check it out. Finally, Jasco North. Jasco North is producing the Captain Canuck game uh, that I believe is going to release on Canada Day, fittingly enough. So check out Captain Canuck. It's an awesome comic book from Chapter House, um, and we'll have a sweet miniatures board game for that as well. So that's our board game section for this week. All right, UFS fans, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for UFS Corner! Which happens to be in the same place as the board game corner and the intro to the Joffis. And um, you know what? You know what's better than a corner? Four corners. I think it's about time we step it up. We're going to move UFS Corner to its own private studio. Coming soon to computer screens near you across the street. We'll call it the Joffis 2 or the Joliseum or the Jother Joffis. Whatever the name is, we'll come up with that soon. But we have a new location that we are building out right now where you can see high-profile UFS matches. We'll be streaming from there from Worlds. So our Top Cut matches will be streamed. So I hope you make it into Top Cut. You can check it out and see our new place. Otherwise, come visit us as long as we're here. So you know, probably not on the weekend or during an event. Um, otherwise, uh, let's get into our new promos. There's a lot to go over. It's been about three months since uh, we've had a Joffis with all the things going on. And a lot of things have come out in that time. So the first thing we got to go over, and the battle begins. We have a new promo card for quarter one of 2019. If you go to your Premier Store, play into some Premier Store tournaments, you can win this awesome Street Fighter card. Uh, up next, and there's going to be more of these, actually. Before we go next, every quarter you're going to have new cards like this. Uh, up next, we have our PTC price support. So we just gave out High Seas Adventure. Uh, coming up, we have Dodge. Hyperbomb and Skull Barrier. These are all awesome cards. One thing you might want to notice is uh, these are like alternate art full arts that are foil. We've never done that before. Not all three of these things combined in one card. That's super cool. Um, so show up to those events. We'll give these out. You get one for every round you play and you get some packs and some other cool stuff. Um, we also have another cool thing to show. Foil character cards from Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers are here. So these will be going out to your stores pretty soon. Keep an eye out for these. And don't forget, all these cards should be available on Redemption soon. So keep an eye out on the Redemption page. Finally, for promos, our reprints of the banned cards are back. So we've eroded all these cards, and now they're back in playable form. So they're, you know, not banned characters. If you have the banned version of these that they have the different dot number on them, you can still play those until the, you get your hands on these guys. But uh, you can get these on Redemption as well. They'll be shipped out with every order. They'll be shipped out with every Redemption order that you send in until we run out of these. So be sure to get your hands on these as well. That should do it for the promo section of UFS Corner. Now we have some more things to cover. All right, UFS Corner, next up is the event schedule. We have a couple of big events coming up for UFS. First of all, uh, Turbo Worlds will be coming up March 29th and 30th. So we hope to see you at that event. Uh, we're going to be giving out a custom-built turbocharged car for UFS. Uh, it's been completely gutted and rebuilt. Uh, it's going to be super fast and awesome. It's got new interior, new exterior, UFS awesomeness all over it. So... Be sure to check that out. Actually, we might have some spoilers here for you. I hope right here where I'm doing this dance. Yeah, check out that cool car. So you'll be able to see the full car here shortly, but we'll show you parts of the car in the meantime. Uh, at Turbo Worlds, there is going to be a Turbo World qualifier. So if you did not qualify, there's a last chance qualifier in Omaha the day before the event. Be sure to come in. Try to make your place in Turbo World so you have a chance of winning the Turbo car. Next up on our UFS events is the World Championships in Las Vegas here on April 26th through 28th. We hope to see you there. We're going to be posting a lot of stuff about that here shortly as well. Your hotel blocks are already available currently if you want to go book those for both of these events. So be sure to do that for Turbo Worlds and the World Championships. There will be a lot more on that here shortly. Lastly, UFS, we have Soul Calibur 6. The set was just completely previewed. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, the release date is here below. So be sure to show up at your store for that event. Uh, if you have a premier store, you'll be able to do an awesome pre-release event for that. Otherwise, we hope to see you at the release event at your local store uh, to enjoy this awesome Soul Calibur 6 set. 
And before we end the show, we have a new hire. Kai Nesbitt has just joined the team. He's taking over as director of business development. He's going to be handling our distribution, our premier stores, and a lot of business-to-business -business relationships. We're really excited to have him on. He actually used to work with Sabretooth Games back in the day on a bunch of old CCGs that I really like. Um, so really excited to see him on the team. We've already been working with him and has some really awesome things and ideas to offer. So uh, if you haven't seen that press release, be sure to reach out, say hi to him when you see us at an event or anything else. Uh, otherwise, that's this week's episode of The Joffice and episode one of season five.